I've got a secret I want to tell you. Make sure none of them corporate bigwigs are watching this, but I'm going to show you something here. See if you can tell me what all these things have in common. Let the camera adjust here a little bit to the light. Hmm. We have hot hands. No rusty file. And oxygen, abs oxygen absorbers. What do all these have in common? Hmm? They're all oxygen absorbers. That's right. These have iron filings inside with a mixture of salt and some denatured clay. All that, all that stuff in there does is the clay holds moisture. The salt and the moisture accelerate the rust. And when the iron filings in these little things rust and turn into iron oxide, that is what sucks the oxygen out of the air. And you know what? These hot hands are supersized oxygen absorbers. They have the exact same ingredients as these. So if if instead if you're doing a five gallon bucket and you do not you know want to add four or five of these in there, or you don't want to have to worry about getting what is this thing here? Uh, 50 by 50 of these things at a time and you only want to put away like one or two buckets at a time Mmm 89 cents for two That will do two five gallon buckets easily easily do two five gallon buckets Now why have I got the file out here this old rusty file? Basically if I wanted to bust this up into a bunch of tiny little pieces, put it in a cloth bag. Well, first you want to wet, wet the file down. If you wet it down, and then you put it in a, a bag full of salt, which would cause the iron to rust really fast. You know, the file would be wet, and then you throw it in the salt. You could actually throw that in the bucket, and it would absorb the oxygen in there. Although, it wouldn't do it as fast as these because it has powdered iron. These have pot powdered iron in them. They're, they're like uh, somebody took and, and ground it all up into a powder. It's iron powder or iron filings in these. And then they add salt to it. And the uh, other thing to hold the moisture. And it won't rust as long as it's airtight in this airtight container. Because there's no air to make the iron turn into iron oxide. So, I just wanted y'all to know this little secret about oxygen absorbers in case you don't want to have to buy a whole 50 pack. Uh, these here say they're 500 cc's. I don't see a size on this, but I am going to guesstimate if this is a 500 cc, these here are almost a... Uh, 5,000 cc's because it's got probably 10 times the amount of iron filings as one of these uh, little packages of oxygen absorbers. So if you really want to make sure your food's good, hot hands too, or any of the any of the uh, things you can put the toasty toes, whatever you, you can get your hands on. You know you don't want an old one of these. Make sure you get a fairly fresh one. They got a looks like they have a Julian date on there. Uh, but, hey, I just thought I'd let that little secret about oxygen absorbers out. What do they all have in common? They're a bunch of rust, or they are made to rust. When it rusts, that's what takes the oxygen out of the air. I think I'm on record for this being one of my shortest videos. Talk to you later, YouTube.